The spinoffs will be enormous for Kentuckiana. Now, the number of jobs that the two battery plants will create much bigger than the town of Glendale itself. Glendale, which is only about 15 minutes south of Elizabethtown, has around 2,000 people as residents. WHS 11's Rachel Droves is there. She's continuing our team coverage tonight from Hardin County. And Rachel, what's everybody saying about this today? Going to be about four years of construction. Yeah, Doug, they are excited. They cannot wait. And let me tell you about this piece of property where this plant is going to be built. I'm standing in it right now and you can see there's a lot of farm fields, but this is a piece of land that the county has been holding on for about two decades, waiting for the right developer to come along. And now that they have, they can't wait for construction to begin and the community. They're pretty excited about it, too. A vacant plot of land finally getting developed. Finally, something's going in there. But Gerald Lush owns Benny's Barn and Teak Mall in Glendale. And we have a big Christmas area. He knows once this project gets going, some big changes will be coming along with it. I'm excited for the opportunity that uh, the new plant will give the state, but I'm a little worried about what it might do to the feel of the community. Rick Games, president of the Elizabethtown and Hardin County Industrial Foundation, saying a project of this size will open the door to a lot of infrastructure improvements in the area. They always make the comparisons to Toyota at Georgetown. You know, Georgetown's a small, sleepy little town. Toyota showed up in 85 or 6, whatever it was, and obviously it changed the face of the community, and, and I fully expect it to do that here. Game says this plant, which brings 5,000 jobs along with it, will be a big draw. These are jobs that people will move to your community and uh, be able to make a good wage and, and raise a family. So while we aren't sure what exactly Glendale will look like in five or ten years, Lush, who owned Benny's Barn for 16 years, is happy Ford is coming, saying he knows it'll be good to see this area get more developed. But change also brings uncertainty, and he's not sure what the plant will do to the ambiance of this sleepy little town. But we'll just wait and see and you know, we're in the antique business. All this stuff we've got, some of it's hundreds of years old. So uh, it's survived and we will too. Now others I've spoken to in Glendale share Gerald Lush's excitement and curiosity. And like everyone has said, we're just going to have to wait and see what this town is going to look like down the road. But there is no doubt in anyone's mind, big changes are coming to Glendale. Reporting live, Rachel Droz, WHAS 11 News.